FBI informant file uh, alleges Joe and Hunter Biden coerced a Burisma executive into paying them $5 million each to get Ukrainian prosecutor investigating the company fired. The file also shows that Burisma hired Hunter to protect them through his father and that the executive was pushed into paying them money. The executive even calling Hunter Biden stupid, claiming that his dog was smarter than Hunter Biden, but he needed to pay the money to protect the company. Back in 2018, Joe Biden bragged about getting the Ukrainian prosecutor fired. Watch this. I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had it. They were walking out to the press conference. Said, "No, nah. I said I'm not going to. We're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said call him." <laughs> I said, "I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars." I said, "You're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here." And I think it was what six hours. I looked. I said, "I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money." Well, oh, son of a <laughs> got fired. And with that, Joe and Hunter got their money. Todd, your thoughts? Throughout this entire ordeal, and it is an ordeal, we've been looking for that link, that thing that happened to combine the money with an action. Because up till this point, we've said things like, how does Joe Biden, who's been a career civil servant for years, have all these beautiful homes and all this money? How does Hunter Biden, who is a lawyer but really nothing else, end up on the board of an energy company? Well, now we have the link. They were paid an aggregate, according to this individual, $10 million to intervene, utilizing the power of their positions vis-a-vis -vis the U.S. government. That's basically what this individual is saying. We have the link. Now, what happens here? What other dominoes fall to really connect Joe Biden to this situation and really prove bribery enough in a court of law that it will make it through not only in Congress, but to the American people when they go to vote in 2024. Yeah, I think this is a really important point that you make because we keep trying to identify the decisions that Joe Biden has made over the years to justify him getting paid. Um, one item that I keep bringing up is the uh, 2015, 2014 uh, Memorandum of Understanding that Joe Biden signed, which enabled Chinese companies to trade on U.S. exchanges and not follow any auditing rules. And that, and that he did. He allowed these companies to trade on U.S. exchanges and not pay uh, and not follow any auditing rules that the Securities and Exchange Commission put in place for all public companies to follow. We don't know if that's a decision that he was paid for, but it's highly suspect, in my opinion. And now we've got this proof that you said in terms of the Burisma situation. But will the mainstream media ever cover it? John. No, they will not. You know, the mainstream media will see what they want to see and disregard the rest. I mean, they're in bed with the Democratic Party uh, to try to prevent this very damaging story from getting out there, from becoming widespread news uh, that could uh, turn around and really damage uh, the Democrats' uh, prospects in the 2024 election year. And yeah, by the way, exactly. you know, even if you know, even if they offer to make a bribe uh, to Biden, uh, Joe, and Hunter, uh, both Joe and Hunter bri uh, Biden, I think, had to go ahead and report that offer of a bribe uh, to U.S. authorities, and they didn't even do that. Right. That's what I said the other day. How is it possible that the IRS prosecutes uh, Hunter Biden for not paying taxes on income, and yet they don't investigate where the income actually came from? Where is this income coming from foreign nationals? The House Judiciary Committee released testimony confirming the FBI told Twitter that Hunter Biden's laptop was real. On the very same day that the New York Post published the bombshell story about it before the 2020 election, Todd, again, here we have election interference and the mainstream media won't cover it. Well, the reason they won't cover is because, like John said, and like we've alluded to, obviously they're part of this. And the Democrats keep beating that point. There is no collusion between big tech and their own party. The reason they keep saying that is because the evidence keeps mounting that it is, and they really have no other response. 
We need yeah. to continue the pressure. And by we, I mean the, the individuals in Congress on both sides of the aisle, because big tech should not be tipping the scales of elections. Big tech yeah. can make money. No problem with that. Go out and make your money. But once you intervene in what the American people know, the information that they're receiving, that's when you're engaging in election interference and it has to stop. Well, by the way, RFK Jr. tried to make that point this week in a hearing. He got shut down. Right. So they're censoring him as Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.